Hi, welcome to JMeta Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss how to write response data or how to write your extracted data to Excel or CSV in JMeta using PinShell post processor means so you will learn how to write particular CSV data set config whatever data you are using which is pass or fail means each iteration it is a pass or fail okay so let's start our uh, scripting sorry recording see I have uh, generated this uh, recording so I'm using my blogspot.in website okay and here having different uh, URLs page manual testing qtb tutorials selenium load runner hplm and sitemap okay so now i want to run for one two three four five six iterations okay and i have added csv data set config you already know i have given a csv data set config example regarding parameterization testing in jmeter you can watch my video so I have saved test data qtp.csv in this one. Let me open my qtp okay, test data file. Here I have given URL parameter as a header name. In that one I have given my page URLs. See, I have given my page URLs. Okay. So okay, let me close one second. And next what you have to do just create test data result file let me show you why we need so you know to add csv data set config and enter your file csv file okay create the test data file don't give any parameters name why because i have already given in the file just add response assertion also Okay, response is 200. Okay, this is the result it will give you. Just add, right click add bean shell post processor, bean shell post processor under post processor samples. Okay, bean shell post processor. So, what is this bean shell post processor? So, I'm using Java language. Okay, this is my script, and uh, here it is giving the bean shell post processor name reset bsh dot interpreter before call false parameter to be passed to bean shell see I have a variable is a ctx bars ok this is a previous data log so if you want to use uh, variables you just you have to use ctx ok ctx dot like this you need to use previous dot prev dot ok see is a, I am importing java io file why because we are writing the particular csv data with the help of file output stream print stream okay that's why i'm using java uh, dot io dot file this is a package name and uh, next one is a file server it is default we should uh, write here import org dot apache dot jmeter dot services dot file server okay <coughs> sorry so i am default result setting as a fail so I want to capture the response into one one string. See response equal to previous PREV dot get response data as a string. So what is this? It will do get response data as a string means what is the response? Okay, coming from here. Here it will give you response data. I am saving as a this data into a string. One string I am saving. Okay from this string variable I am capturing the data what are the data I need if the response dot this is a response I am capt already captured into response as a string this response dot contains software testing tutorials if it is contains software testing tutorials in that particular response okay so let me show you so already I have given one next next result i am getting as a pass if it is contain this word then it will read as a pass okay set as a result is a set as a false okay else it will automatically give you fail 
So next I am giving, I am storing one file output, output stream. Test data result that says this file you need to create. Already I have created, right? Results. So nothing here, just you need to delete. Sorry, result. So whatever name I have given, this you have to provide here, right? Result, okay? Result and enter. Just remove one column. <coughs> this data file you need to be created here. This is a CSV file. If you have seen, if you have seen here details, this is a CSV file. Comma separated values. Okay. I have created test data QTP for passing the values through the CSV dataset config. I have created test data result with header names. What is the header name? URL parameter which is given from here, and extra column name is name is a result. Okay, I, why? Because I am using file output stream that is a CSV file. True, true means it will replace. So I am now we need to print means write the data into that CSV file as per println. Okay, why? We, that's why we are using print print stream. What is the file name we are getting? We are saving in this path. Ff is f to be passed here. So I am saving print stream into p. Okay. In that P, this print stream, what it will do means it will print the variable values. What are the values are saving into file output stream? This file need to be printed with the help of printf. Okay, new printf. Okay, this f is going to print all the values into test data result.csv with the help of file output stream. Output stream it will write the file. So what are the print we need to use println if I am using print it will see print only in single line if I am using printl, println it will enter one line and it will give you the result again it will enter press enter then it will go to next row so vars dot get this var it is getting which is what are the parameter I am using in csv dataset config this is a parameter header name what are the header name I am giving url underscore parameter under test data dot csv file okay under this one only we are getting different different urls okay this is a u parameter we need to go whatever data it is passing then only that data it will pick up and the comma i am giving comma why because once a url is given press enter comma plus result result means it will pass or fail sometimes it will fail sometimes it will pass okay url underscore parameter this is a result it will pass or fail so p dot close f dot close we need to close the method variables <coughs> so let me run see here i am giving the http request as a parameter name so that you can understand that we can enter dynamic parameters here what is the data i am passing from csv test data qtb dot csv that data name will be re replaced here okay this save let me run for i have given the six i think i think six i have given the data one two three four five six six i have given so i am entering six users okay six iterations i want to run okay six iterations now response is a 200 means this main samples response code can matches 200 then it will get pass okay everything is set up if you have any doubts please ask me in the form of comments i will uh, explain and i will give you the clear details for your questions or comments okay now i have given six and i'm a period i will increase the number period it will count only one time okay let me run the script test plan one two three four five 6c qtp tutorials why because you have given dollar i open curly braces url parameter i am passing dynamic data closing that data is going to replace here qtp tutorials see why i am why i have taken this uh, software testing tutorial means if you have seen here software testing in urls it is giving software testing user software testing tutorials software testing testing tutorials you can provide software these urls also 
so manual testing load on the site map svlm the site selenium tutorials so response message is okay response code is 200 it is replacing with selenium tutorial c this sorry sorry and this url parameter is replacing by your data so what is the test data you are passing selenium tutorial and html it is replacing so like this you can do parameterization previously i have given so let's uh, open our uh, file i have uh, written as test data result.csv file this is the right right this is the file let me open data result this is the same time 1028 for you you have open it will give you pass every data is it is giving as a pass understood right each iteration is giving a pass now i want to fail the data let me remove let's uh, we have to fail okay what is the data let's, let me open response time so i want to fail for what i need to give so, okay qtp tutorials here i'll enter qtp qtp tutorials and the next one is a it's showing as hp qtp okay YouTube tutorials, YouTube tutorials. See, it is giving us a YouTube tutorials. Okay, let me check for one, then it will give you. You can understand. If I am using, it will pass. Sorry, it will pass only one iteration remaining will get fail. Okay, let me cancel. So let me. Yeah, okay six times tutorials okay let me run for six times it will get pass okay here it is showing as pass why because it is following the response assertion 200 okay, let me open the result okay, it is giving the pass means it is giving youtube tutorials in each and every page so i think that's why to get pass Okay, let me check once. SPLM QTP. See, it is giving the QTP tutorial. That's why it get pass. Okay, let me give um, wrong name. Let me give you any wrong name. Let me give you any wrong name. This is a wrong name I am giving. Let me run for this one. Clear. Save and run it will get pass it is giving the pass but as per expression it is giving so let me open a file it is giving the fail c by means in the for in the file i have given as qtp tutorials but it is not there with the extra a is coming so that's why it get fail so like this you can write your result pass or fail for each iteration okay thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos for uh, more upcoming videos and uh, please uh, provide your valuable comments on this video and uh, please subscribe to my video provide your suggestions comments in the form of questions or anything please like my video please share video also thank you thank you for watching my video